Buon pomeriggio! Welcome to Clelia's Cucina Italiana. Today we're going to do things that are good for the summer. Nobody wants to cook, so we're not going to cook today. We're going to do a few types of salads. And these salads are also in my book. Don't forget about my book. You can check them out. Okay, but I'll show you just how they're done. Okay, we're going to start with one with chickpeas. Okay, I have here, I oh know on the recipe it says two, but I thought two weren't enough, so I made three. So you can put as many as you want. So we have three cans of chickpeas that I uh, drain, I mean, I, I rinsed and drained, okay, like that. And then to that, we're going to add about a small red onion, okay, or a half of a regular one, all chopped like that. Easy, very easy. And this is something that, uh, you know, you can make if you're having a cookout or you can bring it to somebody. You know, people have cookouts and they ask you to bring something. This certainly is very good. And you can put like, well, maybe a, a cup or so of uh, the light part of celery, including the, uh, the leaves. Okay, you can chop it up small. And then you can also add some parsley. This is something that you want it to look colorful and inviting like. So we have red onion, celery, and celery leaves. I'm gonna add some parsley leaves. And this, this will also give it a, a you know, really nice flavor. Okay, and the parsley leaves, you can put a half a cup or you know whatever you want. Nothing has to be really etched in uh, cement or whatever. <laughs> You know, you do, you, you can put as much as you want. You don't have to be that precise. And then we're going to add, I like to add a lot of herbs. You can add the marjoram, you know, this is marjoram. Or you can add the fresh oregano, also goes good. It's not in the book, but I like to put that in, this marjoram. Gives it a really nice flavor. And you put a few, a few of these little stems. And look how easy this is. You know, and this is something that, and you know, I, I brought it before and people really like it because it's so easy to, anything easy is good in the summer. You don't want to be stuck to the stove. Okay, that, and also I'm going to put some uh, nice basil that always goes good with everything and just use the, the leaves. With the parsley, you can also ha leave a little stem, especially if it's tender, because that will also add a little flavor. And now you now in the summertime you can grow it on your own. So, okay. So I like it a little bit piquant. So these are uh, red cherry hot tomato. I mean uh, peppers that you can uh, you can buy in a jar. Okay, and they have whole ones that you can cut up yourself. And then I notice that they have one that's already cut. So why why do the work? So you can put as many as you want. This is probably about a third of a cup or so. But if you like in you know, a little bit piquant, you can, uh, you can, you know, you can add as much as that. And then to that, we don't want to use the balsamic vinegar, the dark, because then it will make the, the chickpeas look dark and it will kind of lose the color. So we're going to use white balsamic vinegar for this recipe. And you can just put a, like a couple of uh, tablespoons, okay, like that. And then maybe about... Uh, a third of a cup or you know so of extra virgin olive oil you want to make sure you put enough oil because that will give it a nice flavor and this you really I mean I would like to leave it on uh, room temperature so um, it, it takes in all the flavors and salt of course as you know as much as you want and pepper as much as you want. I like a lot. <laughs> and then you can just grate a little bit of garlic, fresh garlic, okay? Now, does that sound inviting? And just a little bit, not too much. Just to, just to get a hint of, uh, of garlic, like. And I'm grating it because if you cut it, if you cut it small, then you, you just might get a little piece of garlic in your mouth and, and it's not too pleasant. So when you grate it, I mean, it's gonna be so fine that you won't even know the difference, you know? But, you know, the flavor will be there. And uh, that's about it. Now, is this easy or what? 
and I'm going to show you the next salad. This one here is an orange and arugula salad. What's different about this arugula, this is not a baby arugula, and I would like you to try and find out where to buy this. And I, I usually find this at Whole Food. That's about the only place, and you have to ask, because it doesn't come in a package, it comes in a little bunch, okay? And I like this better because you can, it looks better and it tastes better for this particular recipe. Okay, so this has been washed and spun dry, you know, a few times because you want to make sure that all the sand is out because there's nothing worse than biting into something and having that grid, I mean, you know, terrible. So anyway, these are oranges. I'm going to show you just how I cut them. I know you probably know, but I'm just going to show you. Okay, just cut the orange and get uh, navel oranges. Make sure they're oranges, they have no seeds, no, you know, because you don't want to bother with that. Okay, so I left one so I can just show you just how I do it. And, and that, let me tell you, this is such a beautiful, refreshing salad that you probably never see anywhere because this is our own family thing. <laughs> and uh, it's so nice and it's refreshing and I, I think you're really going to like it. And it's, this is also in my book. Okay, so you make sure you get all this white stuff, the pith, because this is bitter and you don't want that. And all I do is, this is really, you have to use a lot of oranges because you want the middle ones, the nice slices, you don't want really the end. Okay, and do probably about a quarter of an inch or so. You don't want them too thin. See, so outside of this, you can probably get three or four. So you probably need a bag of oranges, I would say. See, so you want them like that. And these ends, I mean, you can cut them and put in any other salad if you want. You know, you don't throw it out. Oh, you can eat it also. Okay? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make like a bed of uh, this arugula. And this works a lot better than the, the baby one. The baby one, sometimes it's a little choky. I mean, you know, you have to, I like this better. Well, each one has its own. It's good for different recipes. Okay, so I think we're okay now. So I'm gonna just put all the oranges like this. Get all the slices. Put a little bit of uh, arugula in between. And then you can put uh, the little pieces like, or if you have more, the ones that are not so beautiful, you can just put them in the middle like that. And to that, we're going to put, of course, a little bit of salt. Don't forget the salt because you'd be surprised how nice it is, a little salt on the orange. Okay, this one here is covered, so we're gonna fix this a little, like so. Then you put a little, round the black pepper and for this we use the regular balsamic vinegar you can beat it together with the oil you can just go over like this just a little bit like just like that maybe a couple of tablespoons that's all and a round of olive oil And then, to make it a little, buy these uh, olives that are cured olives, but make sure they don't have the stone inside. And they do sell them without the stone, because it's, uh, you know, you don't want anybody to break their tea. Come around. Okay. So what do you think? Look how easy that is. And this is another one that you can bring somewhere, you can serve at a picnic or a cookout. In salata di arancia e arugula. Okay, here I have some baby spinach that have been washed and spun dried. Okay. So I advise you to do that because you don't want you don't want it to be watery. Okay. So this is a whole small bag of that. And to, this is very, very easy. To that we add as many as uh, cherry tomatoes. 
cut in half as you want you know it doesn't have to be anything okay so that looks like enough and with that I'm going to do a little uh, vinaigrette okay I'm going to add like a teaspoon of mustard a little more and uh, the juice uh, what do I do with the lemon here the juice of a whole lemon and make sure make sure you when you're gonna use the skin I mean the the zest make sure that it's uh, or organic okay don't use anything I'm not gonna use it for this recipe but for the other recipe I'm gonna use the zest so make sure it's organic and also I want to mention when uh, with the chickpea salad and uh, most of the salads and not the orange because we want the the juice to be drawn don't use the salt until you're ready to uh, to use it okay don't put any salt on the oranges, you, you kind of can, but you can do it at the last minute too. Okay, most salad, otherwise everything's gonna be wilted. All right, so that's a, just a little hint I wanna give you. You probably know that anyway. Okay, so that's the juice of one lemon. We're gonna add it to the mustard. Okay, we're gonna just mix that in. And to that we're gonna use about maybe a, a third a cup or a quarter of a cup, a little bit of oil, like that. And I'm going to just beat it with the fork. And again, even the dressing, you just add it to the last minute, just before you're gonna serve it. I'm going to do this here in case it... And you just do that until it, it kind of thickens a little bit. Okay? So of course we're going to put that on now because we are ready to go. Okay? So you just pour some like that and mix it up. Be nice if I got a spoon. Mix it up nice. Trying to get the cherry tomatoes on top here so they look nice and you'll see them. Get a few more on top. So they're visible here. Cherry tomatoes. And then to that we're gonna add some uh, pecan that have already that been roasted and cool. Make sure they're cool before you put them on. And just uh, as many as you want. And this is really a nice, easy, easy salad. And that's it. Okay, so that's another one. Okay, spinaci con pomodori e pecan. Okay, now the next one, it's another easy one. The next one, it's a fennel salad and oranges. Okay, and that's also in my recipe book. Okay, I don't know if you've ever seen fennel. This is what it looks like when I cut the fern, but this is how you see it at the store. See, a lot of times people see it and they say, what is that? You know, you don't know what it is. It's got like an anise flavor and it's really, really delicious. It's nice and crunchy like a celery. And it's, uh, you can also saute it with a little bit of uh, butter and oil. You can add a little tomato. You can do so much with it, but it's really delicious in a salad. Okay, you cut it in half. and you cut it in wedges, not too thin and not too thick, like so. 
Now, for this re particular recipe, it's usually nice to use blood oranges. I'm going to add some uh, oranges to it, but you can certainly use regular oranges. Okay, so what do you do? You just overlap, put an orange in that, an orange in that. And this is also another one that's really, really great and uh, crunchy and delicious. Just like so. Like that. But the orange sometimes, you know, the, uh, the red, the red orange gives it a nice, it, it kind of looks nice. But I mean, the taste is not that different, okay? So if you can't find it in the fall and you like to try it, go ahead. But for now, I mean, it's fine. Okay, that. And with this, we're going to uh, use a little bit of uh, lemon zest. And make sure you use the organic, okay? We're gonna just... Okay, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna use a little bit of lemon juice, or you can use balsamic if you want, but since we have it, lemon juice and a little bit of uh, mustard, teaspoon of mustard, okay? And then I'm just gonna add some of this nice lemon zest. Just uh, to add a little more pizzazz. <laughs> And there you have it. I think we covered them all. So this summer you can have your pick. See which one you like better, you can try them all. And of course, you know, just before you serve it, you can add a little bit of uh, salt, especially on the orange here, and a little bit of pepper if you want. And there you have it, okay? Until next time, this is Clelia. Buon appetito e arrivederci alla prossima volta. And have a great summer. Stay cool. Ciao.